There may be people who are trying to live for God, trying to follow his rules and regulations. And there may be particular sins that these people may have trouble with. So they may have prayed to God asking him to take away those sins from them. And but they continue to be tempted with those sins. So they may ask God, hey, why are you continuing to allow me to be tested in these areas when you know that I am weak in these areas? What we have to understand is that God is going to allow us to be tempted. From my understanding, I don't think God is going to snap his fingers and take away our temptations for certain sins. Now, for some people it may have happened, but for most, I don't think so. So what we have to understand is that the more that we refuse to give in to temptation, the stronger that we are going to be in that area. Does that make any sense? For instance, back in the past, I used to have a very large lust issue, very large. And back in the past, I used to pray many times about God taking it away from me. But he did not. <laughs> he did not. So, I forgot which year it was, but maybe three years back or more, I don't know. But it got to the point where I said, hey, I am not going to give in to those temptations anymore. So I stopped doing sexual things. Yes, I got tempted so many times so many times so many <laughs> crazy but the thing i found out the more i refused to give in to those temptations the stronger i got for instance now yes i still get tempted but sexual things does not tempt me as much as it did back in the past, by far, <laughs> by far. Yes, I was expecting God to automatically snap his fingers and take away my temptations or those sins, but it did not work that way for me. And I am sure it is the same for you as well. So what you have to do is stop giving in to your temptations. Of course, it is difficult. Yes, of course. But what other choice do you have? Continue to give in to your temptations and make it worse for yourself? Come on now. So the only way that you can get over your temptations is if you stop giving in to them because the more you do them the worse it is going to become for instance let's say that you have an alcohol problem or a drug problem you may want God to snap his fingers and take it away right now but from my understanding that is not going to happen you have to continue to pray. You have to continue to read your Bible, fast, so on and so on. That is the only way. There is no easy route. I know many people want an easy route, including myself. <laughs> but there is no easy route. Trust me. I searched for one, by far. There is no easy route. The only way to get out of your temptation 
is by praying more, reading your Bible more, fasting, and stop giving in to your temptations. That's the only way. So we really shouldn't be too frustrated at God because it is really up to us. As I stated before, I still get tempted with sexual things, but I am not as weak as I was back in the past for it. So when it comes to me now, <laughs> it is not really a big deal. Does that make any sense? But if I was to stop praying, stop reading the Bible, not do things of God, of course, I am going to fall back into sin, <laughs> of course. Because my strength, our strength lies within Jesus. So if you separate from Jesus, why do you wonder why you continue to fall into sin? Come on now, think about it. Okay, God bless.